Hey guys, I'm back with another update on our solar project going on. Um, I uh, got it pretty much done and ready for, for operation, I guess. I've done enough testing and enough uh, um, adding everything to it. Um, behind me is the camper that we're going to be charging with the solar system. Um, getting ready to go on our camping trip here soon. Um, that's why I'm such a mess. I've been cleaning out our camper and getting it all ready to go. But um, We'll walk over and I'll show you the, the solar panel. Give you some details on that. Let me turn the camera around. This is the solar panel here. I got a bunch of grass on it right now. I was mowing the lawn yesterday. Um, but you can see I made up this PVC, this little uh, bracket for it to, to keep it upright. Um, just homemade. Just had some PVC laying around and um, Got a couple of brackets on there, screwed or bolted to the panel. And just tighten them up so they're, so they're, uh, you know, snug, you know, enough to move. You know, I can just, you know, move it to wherever I, wherever I want it. It kind of works pretty slick, actually. But I got that idea off another YouTuber. Um, if I can find him again, I'll, I'll put a link in the description. But, um... I got this is isn't my idea it's his idea so I just kind of copied him but um, so this is a solar panel here it's a it's called an eco worth let me see if I can get the of course that pipes right in the way of the all the specifications but let me see if I can get in here uh, just a hundred watt panel um, 18 volts uh, five and 5.5 amps 21.6 volts on open circuit um, and that's pretty much the specifications that you need to know on any panel really just the wattage you know voltage and amperage um, so far it's working good this panel actually i'm impressed with it it does put out close to the five and a half amps so far that i've seen i can roll in a uh right now it's kind of it's cloudy so it's not putting out what it's supposed to but i've seen it though up around over five amps that's putting out so um maybe not quite five and a half but I'm pretty close um I'm happy with it i got this panel off of amazon um for i think it was like 120 bucks not bad and i'll put another i'll put a link in the description for that um for it and so you can take a look at it and see what you think working good for me though i like it so far uh what it, the wire i got hooked to it is just uh 10 gauge uh wire going to the the charge controller just going through my garage when i know there's our dog, buddy. Buddy, say hi. Not today. <laughs> but um, it's the 10 gauge wire is overkill um, for just a 100 watt, 5 amp panel. Um, but what I plan to do in the future is at least add another panel so I can get, so I don't have to move it so much. I can just have one panel face in one direction, the other panel face in another direction while we're out camping. But um, so I kind of built it overkill a little bit. Um, for future plans, I guess. Um, so that's the panel, and that's the specs on it, and my little bracket I made. So let's go in the garage, and I'll show you my charge controller. Let me turn on the lights. <coughs> so this is what I come up with with my charge controller in the box that I made for it. This is the Solar 30 charge controller, like I showed you in the last video. Um, it does 12 and 24 volt at 30 amps. Um, now you gotta remember with this charge controller, if you're gonna buy one, there is two different models or two different um, kinds of this. There's a, there's a China made one that is really cheap and I've read that they don't last. And then there's this model. Sorry, I keep moving, the bugs are bothering me. Um, the difference is, is the buttons right here, you see all these ones are round. Um, the China knockoff ones are oval. And, and there's something with this right here above the display, where this is still, this one kind of, see if we can get a good picture of it, how oh, it dips in, where the ones, the China ones are just like straight across right here, and they don't dip in. And the China ones also don't have any markings on them, they don't say Solar 30 or anything on them. Um, so take, keep a look out for that. The difference is, is 
um, the heat sinks on them. Um, obviously these ones are a little bit better quality than the China ones. Um, and as far as the soldering and all that kind of board and stuff is, is cheaper, of course, but um, they're the same price. Actually, I've looked on both. I, I found both on eBay and surprisingly, they're both the same price. They're, these are only 20 bucks and so is the China ones. And you just gotta make sure uh, the, which one you're buying. And I'll put a link in the description below um, of which, you know, where I got this one. And it's actually in the description of the eBay listing and showing you the differences between the two. So I'll, I'll link that also. <clears throat> but I showed you in the last video the menu on this. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just, you know, and it's fairly accurate um, as far as the voltage of the batteries and the amperage from the solar panel. So um, I also got I added me two meters to it. You can see I got them labeled for solar and battery. Um, obviously this reads the voltage of the solar panel and the amperage coming in from the solar panel. And this is reading battery voltage and the amperage going to the batteries. Um, right now they're obviously real low because of, you see, I just seen it was cloudy out. Um, but I can roll in a little footage. It's either got a picture or a, little, a, a video clip of it um, during the day in full sunshine. Um, I can roll that in right now. Um, I also added um, some plugins here. Let me open this up for you. I got uh, two USB and then I just uh, like a cigarette accessory plug socket thing, I guess. Um, this runs off of the load on the controller. Um, and like I said, you can be seen in the last video where you can shut that off at a certain time or a certain voltage, uh, you know, it'll drop out. Um, from what I understand, these just run off solar, you know, the, the load of the controller, and I could be wrong on that. It doesn't seem to, it seems even though I unhook the solar, I still got power, must be coming from the batteries, I assume. Um, maybe you guys can help me out with that and explain that, the load part of this controller more. Um, leave a comment and let me know if I'm thinking of that wrong or what I'm doing there, but. Um, so that's that, and the, I got both the wires coming out of the side here um, labeled solar and battery and I got these fancy connectors on there and the, the connectors are actually just the opposite of each other so you can't there's no way of mistaking them and getting them messed up like I said it's all 10 gauge wire um, plenty enough for what I'm gonna be using doing with and I, I got a total of um, 25 feet I, I believe is running out to the panel 25 feet of both uh, black and red So inside of here I got little hinges on the side where this will just open up Like this you can see all my wiring. I do I do got fuses in here now um, This the I believe this one Yeah, this one's solar um, And this one's for the battery and this one's for the my accessories um, All fused at at 10 amps um, which may or may not be the right fuses. Like maybe you can leave me a comment in the section, in the comment section there, to, if that's right or not. But I figured it's, you know, my my amp meters and stuff are all rated at 10 amps, so I figured why not just do that. So inside the box is I got I laminated my user manual for the Solar 30. Um, if you want. If you're thinking about this, maybe I can swing around here and you can just pause the video and take a look at this. See if I can get a good image for you. And then on the back side gives you all the specifications and what it what it does. Um, another little manual in here I laminated. This is just a manual for them uh, amp meters, the digital amp meters. Pretty, pretty simple. 
and there's the the brand name of them I got. Very cheap. I got them the mant meters off Amazon for like ten bucks a piece, and they they're actually really accurate and they're adjustable, so I would definitely recommend them. I didn't use a shunt in this system because this is so low amperage. Um, you know, it's only bad, at maximum you can put five and a half amps through it, so there's no reason to use a shunt. Um, when I get to the bigger voltages or amperages, um, maybe I'll add them. I actually ordered some thinking I might use them, but I'm not going to. So, then just some extra fuses and wiring in there. Um, that's it for that. Looks like you can just close it straight back up. And we're good to go. Um, still, it's still right now. It's still hooked up to these. These uh, six batteries I've been testing with, everything's working good. You can see right now, I was trying to charge it a little bit. And you can also see the differences. Um, I did get a, a DC amp clamp and everything. Um, so I just got this off Amazon too. I should do a review on it. But um, this is the, the Uni-T, uh, UT210E. Highly, highly recommend this. Really cheap. I think it was only 30 bucks or something. Um, works awesome. I, I don't know why I didn't get one way sooner. Um, but I, I clamped the wires and adjusted the both meters to be within, you know, within a, a tenth of a volt. So, or, in, or a tenth of a volt and a tenth of an amp. So... And you can see right now my battery voltage here reads 13.4 and this is reading 13.6. So we're a couple tenths of a volt off. Um, this controller is, is off. So, but big deal. That's not, that's not much. Um, so that is it. I guess the, the only, the next step, which will be the last episode in this series, will be actually in field testing when we go camping. And I can do a, a last episode when we're out camping and let you know how it's working and and show you what I'm doing that um, I'll show you my what I got it for batteries in my camper walk out here so this is my camper just a, a Terry camper it's an older one um, but I got two batteries on it um, I got two Napa deep cycle batteries they're they're bigger batteries they're 8260s or something like that um, but they're running in in parallel also um, been finding out all these years camping that I had them wired wrong you know I didn't do the whole negative and positive on on each of the batteries rather than doing pulling just off one I was doing the same thing for how many years I've been camping um, so this research is doing good I've been learning a lot um, that's I guess about it I don't have any anything else if you got any questions, just leave them in the comments. Um, if you got any ideas or something that you see that I did wrong or maybe I could do better or, you know, anything. I know I could do an MPPT controller. Um, they're a little bit out of my price range yet. I'm working on that. Um, I think it'd be really cool to have one, but working on it. Um, as the funds come in, I'll, I'll get one. But for now, we're just going to test this out and try it. And, so when we go out camping, that'll be the next episode of this, and it'll be uh, in the field testing, and we'll let you know how it's working. But I will, other than that, that's it. I will, I will comment anything in the, in, the, in the comments below, and we can discuss it further there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.